Hello friends, we are here with our Saturday 99 cent store haul and we're just going to get right into it. As always, we're going to kick it off with Crystal's Deals of the Week. Okay, this is the last of the free items as far as Halloween goes. I did forget to show these to you last week, but I absolutely love this skull with the horns. Um cannot wait to use this for next year and I did not have to pay $2.99 for it. I paid nothing because it was free. So I'd rather pay free, not pay free, I'd rather get it for free than pay $2.99 plus tax. And then I was also able to scoop up these two adorable pumpkins that are Hulk green and black. And these will look really cute as I do need to get rid of some of my other pumpkins that I'm just kind of over blah tired of so um yeah i was totally glad and like i said it did leave these out of last um week's haul all right i did pick up one of the martinelli's the sparkling blush and this is by gold metal this is the big bottle 25.4 fluid ounces 750 milliliters and this was their big special <laughs> for deals day on tuesday I only grabbed one because honestly, I'm the only one here that will be drinking it on Thanksgiving and no one else likes this besides myself. So one is all I'm going to need. Plus, in my opinion, this is high in calories. So um, let's see, it's 120 calories for eight fluid ounces. Yeah, so this is 240 calories, this whole bottle. So definitely going to try not to drink the whole thing, but I must admit that sparkling, this is like my favorite. I've always drank this on the holidays. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I might drink the whole thing. I may not. All right. And Sven Hart. Anytime I can haul Sven Hart and these came in yesterday. So they are fresh. This is eight horns a plenty. Six seventy nine. Expiration date is November 21st, which is absolutely hilarious considering, um, I did get this yesterday, so it did expire. <laughs> it was already expired. All right. It's 14 ounces. Um, like I've said, we've never had a problem with these, and this this has already come out of my fridge. It'll go back in the fridge, and it is still a good deal because I'll never pay $6.79 when I can pay $1.99 at the 99-cent store. All right. Another interesting find is, all right, this is 50% off. Now, I went to a certain 99 cent store and the cashier, she was pretty rude to me when she said, when I asked, because it was already November 20th and, or November 21st. And I asked her, I said, you know, these are on the shelf and expiration date is November 18th and you're selling them for $2.99 full price. Can I get in it a, um, a discount? And she just said, no, just flat out. So I then asked another manager and he said, no, he said, if it said best buy or, you know, but it says November 18th, so we can't give them to you at a discount. Well, I walk in yesterday, same store, and they have these in their clearance section for 50% off. And honestly, their clearance section absolutely is the worst because $2.99, half of $2.99 is $1.50. This is already expired. This should be like 49 cents, honestly. I mean, they had six boxes in their clearance section and I did pick it up because at the time I was like, oh, you know what? They took 50% off and a dollar, you know, 49 is a good deal. But then when I started thinking about it and I got home, I was like, a dollar 49 is not a good deal, but it is going to go in Crystal's deals of the week because learn from my mistakes. This is, this was not a good deal. This should have been priced to move and price to move would have been 49 cents. Anyways, so I do like you guys to learn from my mistakes so that way we don't have I mean, you can learn from Crystal's mistakes and not make the same mistakes yourself because this should have been 50% off when this expired the 18th. This should have been 50% off when it was November 14th, not two, three days after the expiration date. All right, so that's Crystal's little tips about um, and also, you know, when you do ask two assistant managers, you would think you would get the right answer instead of getting two wrong answers. But, you know, it is the 99 cent store and 
sometimes it can just be really frustrating because I asked two days ago if they could give me, you know, a certain amount off and they were like swearing up and down that they had to throw these away because it was an expiration date and not a best buy. And that's the end of my rant. All right, we're going to get into the haul. Okay, it has still been really slow with juices coming through the 99. I did purchase both, both of these yesterday, but my husband did drink some yesterday with his dinner, which was fine with me. I'm not going to make him wait till today. And this is the Minute Maid Pineapple with Coconut Water. We haven't seen these since, I don't know, summertime. So I did pick up two. And as you can see, we're already a quarter done with the first one and this is December 11th 2019 um these are too sweet for me so I dilute it I put like a little bit in my water bottle and then I fill up the rest with water just to give me a taste all right this is back and I'm glad because I do not like spending um paying full price for creamer but coffee mate creamer and this butter toffee is really good so these these were a dollar 99 and the minute made was 99 cents um, this is a quart, and let's see, we do have an expiration date of, what's my expiration date on here? Not sure what the expiration date is on here, but like I said, um, I did grab two for $1.99 a piece, and I needed more coffee creamer, and I will always haul the full-size coffee creamers, especially if I like them. This is a repurchase. All right, so the use by date just says right here, it says for best quality, use within 14 days of opening. So right now, these are gonna go in the freezer and I'll just have to remind myself 14 days of when I open it that this needs to be finished. Okay, they did bring more Adele's and this is the Italian with mozzarella cheese. These are really good. I also bought two packages. I pulled one out of the sleeve so we could get the expiration date. Expiration date is December 20th, 2019. And again, this is the Adele's Meat Chicken Balls, Italian style. And this is 12 ounces. These are new. This is Jimmy Dean Morning Combos, ready to eat or heat. So you can eat them cold or you can heat them up. I think you'd want to heat them up. These are mini maple pancakes and maple sausage bites, 3.27 ounces, keep refrigerated. And they're just little for on the go in the morning time. And these were two for 99 cents. Expiration date is November 19th, 2019. Okay, again, this stuff came out on Wednesday. There is no way this stuff should be expired absolutely no i mean i wow all right um new lunchable brunchables breakfast sandwiches breakfast ham and cheese and you get the little mini muffin and since it's so tiny i thought my husband would just like it for on the go it was 49 cents expiration date december 10th 2019 and i honestly cannot believe the expiration date i mean i believe it i'm just wow okay I mean, it's still good. It's, you know, it's not like they're bad or anything. All right. And then I picked up this whole thing for 99 cents. And this is the natural um, cracked black pepper, uncured hard salami, white cheddar cheese, no artificial ingredients, nine grams of protein per package, no nitrates or nitrates added. And these are the little snack packs for on the go as well. And I absolutely love these. Um, Let's see, calories are 170, and so these are really cool, like I said, for just on the go, and you do get, I think, I don't know how many, well, it was 99 cents for the box, and I think there's like a dozen in here, something like that. All right, so that is what, oh wait, there's actually more, no, we're not done, hold on. All right, I did pick up four for two for 99 cents of the P3s, and this is the chicken, almonds, Colby Jack, and blueberries. These are really, really good. I actually eat these just for the almonds and the blueberries, and sometimes the cheese. I also do like this Philadelphia cheesecake, and this is the key lime. This is really good. No artificial flavors or dyes. You do get two. And let's see what the expiration date is on this, January 3rd, 2020. I did pick up two for 99 cents, the natural turkey and cheddar Lunchables. And this is with crackers and double stuffed Oreos, no artificial ingredients. And let's see, December 4th, 2019. I did pick up one of the Cracker Barrel pairing boards. It was 49 cents and I absolutely love their salami and cheese, super good. 
Expiration date is December 10th, 2019. All right, these were 99 cents a package, and I actually bought six of these, but we've been eating them through, um, well, I mean, do you guys, <laughs> I'm only pulling out two, and I'm sure you guys know when I say I bought six, I bought six, but I did eat um, two. So I had one for dinner yesterday and then one for dinner the day the night before. So this is a repurchase already because they're only 99 cents. And this is by Taylor Farms. And this is the Barbecue Ranch Chopped Kit Salad. It's chili lime tortilla squares, which I don't eat. But it, the bacon and barbecue dressing, oh my gosh, is really good. It's absolutely real bacon. It's not like the fake stuff. This is 13.3 ounces. It is three servings. And I am so glad that this is 99 cents because I don't have to pay $1.99. And expiration date is uh, November 23rd, 2019. And uh, November 19th, I'm sorry, November 23rd, 2019 is expiration date on these two salads. And these are good. If you can pick these up for 99 cents, do it because these taste really good and you cannot taste the difference. Um, I know Taylor Farms is probably like a generic brand, kind of like Kroger but totally worth it. Okay, so last week we had a lot of frozen. This week we don't, but I was able to score the Devour Pizza, the Creamy Garlic Supreme, Italian Sausage, Diced Pepperoni, Fire Roasted Bell Peppers, Gooey Mozzarella Cheese, and Parmesan Garlic Alfredo Sauce on a crispy, thick crust. Cook thoroughly. All right, so this looked really good. 27.5 ounces. That's a pound of 11.5 ounces. 99 cents. And August 13th, 2020 is the expiration date on these. And I did only haul two, even though <laughs> they actually gave me the whole box. And the whole box, there's actually comes six of these. But there's just no way that I could haul six. Because guess what? We don't have room in my freezer. But two is all I need. And these look really good. And I absolutely am loving the expiration dates on these. And we have Hostess Donuts. I did haul two of the Hot Cocoa Marshmallow Donuts because these have to be my all-time favorite. I absolutely love these. Um, I think these were one of the first packages of donuts I ever hauled for the 99 cent store. And the Hot Cocoa and Marshall, Marshmallow Mini Donuts, oh my goodness. 10 ounces. Expiration date is December 13th, 2019. And like I said, I did pick up two. I also picked up the Hostess um, Donuts in Glazed, America's number one donut. Um, this Expiration date is December 11th, 2019. So those are not bad expiration dates right there. And of course, I did haul my Tosimo Uban 100% Colombian coffee. There are 14 pods in here. As you all know, I do use these in the Keurig and I've never had a problem. Um, I know I did check the expiration date on these, but as you guys know, I do not worry about expiration dates when it comes to coffee. So these were each 99 cents. I saw Tosimo everywhere. I also was able to get this for $1.99. This is French Vanilla International Delight Individual Creamers. And this is for on the go. And you do get 24 in a box. And I don't know if I checked the expiration date on this. I probably should have. Because for $1.99, these should not be expiring tomorrow. But let's see what they expire. All right, it looks like it's a 2020 expiration date. So let me see. Sorry, I got to move it out of the way. All right. It's going to expire February 2020. But I thought this was really cool because sometimes I do need coffee for on the go. Like tomorrow we are going to Oak Glen. So this would be perfect if I want any more creamer and whatnot. And I wish I could find, I don't know where the expiration date is on these. You think after hauling all these, I would. Hold on. Let me find it for you. All right, December 3rd, 2019 is the expiration date for these. These will not be used by then, but like I said, I've never had a problem with it. And it's been a long time since I have hauled pasta, but this is Velveeta whole grain rotini and cheese, and it says made with real cheese and milk. I do like the fact that this is whole grain. Um, this is also, let's see, 10 ounces. We do have an expiration date of December 16th, 2019. I also picked up pasta sides, creamy tomato shells, real Parmesan cheese, creamy tomato sauce. This is eight ounces and we have an expiration date of January 12th, 2020. 
All right, cinnamon Teddy Grahams, yummy, yummy. This is 10 ounces with an expiration date of December 9th, 2019. This was a great little find. I should have included it in Crystal's Deals of the Week. This is a two value pack for 99 cents. Expiration date is December 12th, 2019. All right, I cannot wait to try these on my cheat date. This is chocolate Oreo creams. Oh my goodness, 15.25 ounces, always made with real cocoa. Expiration date is December 9th, 2019. And if you are making Christmas baskets with goodies or movie baskets for Christmas and giving them away, you definitely have to include this Elfin Mix for 99 cents from the 99 cent store. It's chocolate lovers and oh my gosh this it has everything in it fudge dipped elf grams mini salted pretzels fudge drizzled caramel corn and candy coated chocolate pieces perfect for going to the movies or any type of um food basket giving for the holidays it's absolutely awesome this is 6.5 ounces and we do have an expiration date of december 2019 and i did pick up four bags Okay, for some reason, we don't have any ketchup at my house, and sometimes I just want some ketchup. Well, this is West Bray Natural Vegetarian Organic Unsweetened Ketchup, and this is 13 ounces, only 99 cents. Expiration date says used by June 5th, 2020. So I thought, why not bring in some organic ketchup? I've not seen this before at the 99 cent store, and so I decided to grab a bottle. Um, I did pick up two more of the classic peanuts and the canisters because we do like these. They're six ounces. Expiration date is July 2nd. I'm sorry, July 4th, 2020. They're each 99 cents. These also would go great in a food basket as well. Oops, sorry. We also have Enjoy Life Plentils, light, airy, crunchy, sea salt lentil crisps, 3.7 ounces, and these just looked really good. It says, make sure to try our other plant-powered, high-protein, light and country, gluten-free varieties. Gluten-free, Mary Ann, best by November 29th, 2019. I also picked up these Granny Goose Original Corn Chips. This is a repurchase, 8 ounces, and best before February 29th, 2020. All right, it has been a minute since I've hauled these, and this is the Ritz Crisp Thins, and this is in barbecue flavor. I'm hoping that... It says potato and wheat chips, 7.1 ounces. And this is sometimes good when you're having soup or if you want to sprinkle this over your salad to give it a little mmm. And for 99 cents, they're pretty good. December 11th, 2019 is the expiration date on those. I don't know why I felt I had to have this, but this is a limited edition family size chocolate frosted flakes spooky marshmallows. So it's kind of a combination of... Lucky Charms and Chocolate Frosted Flakes, which combines two of my favorite cereals. All right, so this is 24.7 ounces. It was only $1.99, and it has an expiration date of May 31st, 2020. I only picked up one box because this is for Crystal. Absolutely love this cereal. And, I mean, I have not tried it, but totally love the concept of it because I like um, Lucky Charms, and I like the Frosted Flakes. The chocolate ones so yeah when i saw that may expiration date and only a dollar 99 and this thing is huge it's a pound and it's a pound and a half so all right another great idea for food basket is um the boom andy's boom chicka pop sweet and salty kettle corn expiration date is best by february 23rd 2009 i'm sorry 2020 and I also did pick these up for $1.99. This is the Epic Crunch. Oops, opened up. That's okay. This is nacho flavor. And these, and these taste like little Doritos, except they're baked and they're healthier. Um, well, actually, I, mean, I don't know if they're healthier, but they are baked and they're with whole grain. It says sell by December 14th, 2019. And I think you get like nine packages in here. And these are great for on the go as well. All right. Um, this was new at the 99 cent store and this is food stirs, modern making just for you, organic minute mug cake mix, molten chocolate chip. So what I like about this, this is no artificial flavoring. And this is basically where you can make a nice chocolatey little cake in a little cup for these cozy nights that are coming up. 
And I also picked up the Quaker Sandwich Minis and Peanut Butter. You get five individual packages. Expiration date is December 14th. Please check how much you're paying for these because our friend Carrie said that she paid $1.49. I don't know if I paid $1.49. I think I paid $0.99. Cents. I'm not sure. But this is not worth $1.49. So if these are $1.49, I am cutting these out. All right. I also did get my favorite um, Pepsi Zero. I know it's not good for me, but I love it. So I picked that up because I could not find the Pepsi Cherry Zero. All right. Wow. A lot of awesome name brand food, a lot of cool stuff, but now it's time to get into my favorite part of the haul. So let's do this. Okay. Stocking stuffers. This is by Tarte and Twine. And this is great for on the go. This is a snap pencil case and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. Um, it has different features and what I really like is there's different ways to open it up and you don't have to just carry cords in here, which is why I keep getting them because there's other stuff that you can put in here just depending on what you need it for, whether you need to put like important little papers in here or if you want to carry your own plastic straws, whatever you want to carry in here, you can do. And that's what I like. And it is super cute and it will not take up a lot of room in your backpack, duffel bag, or travel bags or purse. So another great giving, great, another great giving idea. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. 99 cents. And look at that cute packaging. Super cute. And this has to be my favorite find by BB. This is great. This is their travel document holder. Lightweight and fashionable travel document holder that fits your boarding pass, IDs, receipts, and many more. The perfect way to keep you organized while on the go. So you have planner, receipts, credit cards, ID, documents, boarding pass, and Look at it. You can do it in style, BB, at the 99 cent store for $2.49. So this is great for any of your friends or for yourself if you're going traveling internationally or just even from state to state, especially for the holidays. So you could totally give someone this as their gift alone. Hide that $2.49 sticker, write a nice cute card, put it in a reusable bag, and you have a cute gift for under five dollars and it's name brand you could even throw this in since they'll be traveling super cute total score at the 99 cent store by finding this bb all right another great great idea gift idea are how cool are these these are from last week's haul but these are hemp seed facial wipes, removes makeup, dirt, and oils, rinse-free cleansing, and these are 60 wipes. So these are 120 wipes. This makes for a great stocking stuffer or, again, for beauty baskets. Super cute. These are selling out quite quickly. All right. I also picked up the Sunflower Shimmering Blonde Conditioner, $3.99. I'm actually going to be using it today. I hope I like it because that is very pricey. All right. They also are getting all these candles from Kmart. This is Fresh Cucumber um, Melon by Carolina Candles. And we'll see. This is a two wick candle and it is 15 ounces. Hopefully it does smell good and is worth the throw. I've also been hauling all of these colonial candles like a nut because I cannot believe that they're only a dollar. And again, these do make for great little gifts if you're just doing little gift treat bags because they're only 99 cents. Cherry blossom. And I think this is like cucumber. And they do burn pretty they do give a long burning they do burn pretty well for being so little and then i also picked up this one this one was still only 99 cents and i do like the multicolored ones so i do love to burn a whole bunch of candles right now and yeah you can definitely get some cool candles at the 99 all right we're still going to keep going um how cute are these guys these are little gnomes for 99 cents these are the two that i found and one obviously blue and red. Look at their little cute outfits. Super cute for Christmas. Tabletop decor. 
And this little tin, which I love, I absolutely love the reindeer, the white reindeer against that red plaid is only 99 cents. I also grabbed another little mitt. How cute is that? A matching stocking to go with my red and white tree. And I grabbed, looks like it's two mitts is what I got. All right. And these are only 99 cents. They're galvanized. It says Noel, definitely digging that rustic look. And for 99 cents, you cannot beat it. So that one does say Noel. And this one says love. And these are the two that I found. All right. I also found these red snowflakes. I thought they were really cool and nice and bright. 99 cents. And the snowflakes really cute again very very bright and red and then i also picked up another with the snowflakes cannot wait to put that on my big tree all right another really cute little item where are these red bows not sure where these are gonna go but for 99 cents two for 99 why not and how cool are these reindeer? Definitely digging the red and white because I'm doing a whole red and white tree. So I did pick up a pair of these two guys and they have um, red sparkly antlers. Okay, last week I did pick up another elf and I got another one this time. He's $1.49. He's too cute. So now he has a friend to get into some mischief with, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun with him. He's too cute. All right, another, oh, a wish list item found. Yay, I finally ran into the tree. So now I have the fresh cut Christmas trees and I have the matching one that has the van with the tree on it. This is $1.49. So glad I was able to finally complete that collection because I've been on the hunt for that little guy. Okay, these are absolutely adorable. Look at how awesome these stars are. They're galvanized, they're $1.49, loving them. I did pick up two more. I hauled two last week and then I hauled two more this week because I'm gonna have a big tree, so I needed two. All right, this is another, all right, this is something you have to, If you, <laughs> this looks like it came from Michael's or Joanne's. This is 99 cents. Now, these came in very limited supplies, but look at this. And look at the length. I am so ridiculous. I should have, you know what, they had six. I just should have pulled the, I just should have splurged on six of these. These are heavy. These are gorgeous. And I seriously, if you would have told me I could get these at Joann's, I would believe you because this is the quality. These are heavy. Look at all these. You get all, you get three pine cones, you have all the big berries, and these are gorgeous, and they're nice and long, and they are heavy. Look at, these are only two, two dollars for this whole bundle, and I only picked up two. If I see them again, I'm picking up all of them. That was a big mistake on my part. All right, I also did pick up one of these. I'm sure I already have one from last week, I'm sorry, from last year, but still really cute with the multicolored little bells. I love how they are matte and I love how it's a Christmas tree and of course the buffalo check. So really cute. And I cannot stop picking up placemats. I don't know what's wrong with me. I absolutely love this one. It encompasses everything that I like. It has the wreath. It has the poinsettias. It has the pillared candles. It has the ornament. We have the gifts. Just so, so Christmassy and really, really cute. I also did get this star to put on my white Christmas tree, but I don't want to take this out, but this does light up. Super cute for 99 cents. All right, this bag is adorable for 99 cents. It is a little Mrs. Um, a snowman, but how cute. And I am going to be getting more. I'm on the hunt for a certain one. All right, I forgot to show you this adorable by susan jacobs this does come from kmart and this was a dollar 99 and this is vanilla frost look how pretty that is all right i also picked up another door hanger with the bells this is gonna go on my front door absolutely love it 
digging the red hoop and I do like the plaid and all the gold bells and the burlap against the burlap. I think it looks really, really nice. Okay, I do like these napkins so far. So I just grabbed a pack. These are only 20. I'm sure I'm gonna be needing a lot more, but those were really cute and they caught my eye. So I did pick up these two cardinals for 99 cents. They're absolutely adorable. And I decided that I wanted to put these on my table. So yeah, for 99 cents, you really cannot beat the price on that. All right, these guys are too cute. Not sure where I'm gonna put them, but I just absolutely love her. She's just kind of resting and I love the red against the gold, the deep red. And I also picked up this guy as well. Just these two. I'm not sure if I'm going to get more. I don't even know where I'm going to put them, but I just really loved the colors. All right. There's something else that I picked up. I did pick this up for my husband. This is actually going to go into his stocking. So you can just take a look at it. I'm actually not going to describe it because he is pretty close in proximity, but I thought he would enjoy this and um, I will let you know if he likes it or not. And for $4.99, how cute is this sign? And look, Ta-da! It lights up. Let me turn off my... All right, let's do this again so I can do my big ta-da moment. Ta-da! How cool is that? I absolutely love it. Happy holidays. Too cute. And up here, it does have decor on it so you can hang it up. And I cannot wait to hang this up. For $4.99, I thought it was definitely worth it. Okay, there is more. Um... I absolutely love these for my face, so I do get these every time I do find them. They're only 99 cents. Again, this would go awesome in a beauty gift bag, and I do recommend it. It works well for me. And let's see, what else do I want to show you all? Okay, Crystal. I found this comforter. Let me see where I should put it. Don't exactly like putting it on top of my new sign. All right, I absolutely love this Buffalo Check Comforter for $9.99. As you can see, it is a queen. I did feel what it feels like inside and the quality is decent. And I already know how I'm gonna make this look springy, which I will tell you in a whole different video. And I also purchased another set of the red sheets by Hotel and Queen. We do like the ones that we're using right now, but I am gonna need another set to get me through December as well. And these sheets will also match with my new comforter as well. And I also picked up a new area runner for $9.99 in red. I just need one more because we are getting our home ready, of course, for the holidays because we are hosting the holidays here at our house. All right, two, three more things. All right, I did pick up this, and this is super gaudy <laughs> for Crystal, but why do I want this for my outside? Because we have a little five foot or four foot tree that's actually real that we bought from Home Depot and it's growing and I need to get out there and decorate it. So I'm actually gonna put this, of course I got it to 